Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us discuss how to generate a code with ChatGPT. Well, ChatGPT is one of the amazing AI tools that we can use to generate the code, debug the code, re review the code. So ChatGPT is very helpful for software developers or the programmers. So in this video, let us see how to generate a code with ChatGPT. Well, ChatGPT isn't just for writing the content or answering the questions. It's also a powerful tool for generating code, solving programming problems and learning new programming languages. Whether you are a beginner or experienced developer, ChatGPT can assist you in many coding tasks. So in this video, we will explore different ways to use ChatGPT for generating code with practical prompts and examples. So here I am using free version of ChatGPT and let us say you are a python developer and you want some piece of code like you want to write a python function that checks if a number is prime next hit enter and here you can see the response of the chat gpt here is a python function to check if a number is prime and this is a piece of code so this is how the chat gpt generates a code on the fly okay and you can see how it works so it will also provide the you know explanation like how this piece of code works if you are not happy with this piece of code then you can add the follow-up questions for example let us say you want to add comments in this piece of code then you can just ask like add comments in the above python function and hit enter and here you can see here is the updated function with detailed comments so this is how you can ask chat gpt to add a comments to the code okay chat gpt will provide a descriptive comments for each piece of code like this next let us say you are working on real time java project and you want to write the utility you know code that checks whether the object is null or not so instead of writing the code line by line you can ask chat gpt to generate the code for you for example here just write the prompt write a java utility function that checks null for objects so notice here the chat gpt generated code this code looks good right and it follows the standards like this utility function is basically a static function and chat gpt also added a comments to this function and it also provides some piece of code to test the function as well so this is how the chat gpt generate the code on the fly well whenever you work on real time java project you don't have to write the same piece of code again and again you can just ask chat gpt to generate the code so chat gpt will generate the code and you can just copy that code and you can use in your project okay and it, it will also give you the explanation of each and every line of the code as well next let us see how chat gpt generate the code for web development so let us say you need a html form with the fields for name email and message then here just ask chat gpt with a prompt generate an html form with fields for name email and message so just mention the fields over here so whatever the requirement you have you can mention in the prompt so that chat gpt can you know write the code for your requirement and next hit enter and notice here the chat gpt's response so this example shows how you can quickly generate web forms using chat gpt it's great for developers who need to build a prototypes or a simple web pages fast. And in order to verify this, you can just copy the code. And here in a new tab, just search for HTML online compiler and choose one of the online compiler and just paste the code and just run the code. And here you can see the HTML form with the fields, name, email, message. Okay, this looks good, right? And if you need some changes in this form, then you can also add the follow-up questions to the chat GPT. 
for example let us say you want to update the field names let us say you want the html form with fields like first name last name email and message then you can just add the follow up question for example update the above html form with fields first name last name email and message and say also add the validation let us see how chat gpt generates the code it says like here is the updated html form with the fields for first name last name email and message along with client side validation so awesome right and if you can closely observe the code over here chat gpt follows the standards it adds the comments and proper code format this looks good right and even you can see the explanation for each piece of code next in order to test this just copy the code go to the online compiler and just paste it over here and run the code and here you can see the html form first name last name email message and you can see the validations as well okay so this is how basically you know we can use chat gpt to generate the code for web development next chat gpt can also help you to debug the code as well for example let us say if there is any issue in the code then you can ask chat gpt to find the issue or error in the code for example let us write one piece of code that has some error so here just search for java program to calculate factorial of a number and just get the factorial logic from one of the website and just go to the chat gpt and here just enter this piece of code and within this piece of code intentionally let us change some logic so that we will see how the chat gpt find the error or debug the error right so here just remove this i and hit enter so you can see the error in the provided java code lies in this commented line so you can see here chat gpt is smart enough to identify in which line the error occurred so amazing right and you can see chat gpt also provides a solution so whenever you work on real time project and if you get some errors then you can just paste that piece of code and ask chat gpt to find the error in that piece of code so chat gpt will definitely help you so this is how you can you know use a chat gpt to debug the code or find the errors in the code so i am here using java but you can use any programming language next let us say you have a requirement to write the sql queries then you can ask chat gpt to write the sql query for you for example let us ask chat gpt to write a sql query to fetch the names of all the employees in the department let us see what chat gpt will do so it chat gpt basically assume that the employees table has these columns and according to these columns it writes the query so whenever you ask chat gpt to write the sql query then make sure to provide the table name and columns so that chat gpt will create the sql query accordingly if you just write the prompt like this then it assumes that this is the table and these are the columns and then it will create the sql query like this so this is how you can use chat gpt to generate the sql queries as well next let us say you are working on real time project and you have a requirement to build the crude rest apis then don't just write the code line by line ask chat gpt to create or generate the code for crude rest apis so that you can save your time and boost your productivity all right so here let us ask chat gpt to generate the crude rest apis for one of the resource let us say library management system so here just write the prompt like create a crude rest apis for book and this is basically a 
library management system project so whatever the project you are working on you can specify over here and let us say you are using spring boot so you can also mention the technology in the prompt so that chat gpt understand the context okay create the code page for book using spring boot 3 you can also mention the particular version of spring boot that you are using next let us say you want to use spring data jp at the back end you can just mention that as well and if you want to use the database let us say mysql you can mention that that as well like this here is a complete example of creating crude HTTP page for managing books in a library management system using spring boot 3 spring data gpi in mysql and here you can see the step by step details project setup so first we need to do the project setup and we need to add all these dependencies to the pom.xml file and then we need to configure the mysql database in application.properties file or application.yml file next here is the book entity class code book class has id title author publisher year and then repository and then service and then controller okay and here within a controller you can see the code rest api is for book resource get all books get book by id create book update book delete book okay next create the database and test the book related endpoints so basically chat gpt provided all the details step by step you just follow these you know steps to build the crude database for book entity okay so this is how chat gpt generates the code so just don't write the code line by line ask chat gpt to generate the code for you so that you can save you know your time next apart from generating the code you can also use chat gpt to learn a new programming for example let us say you want to learn the python programming then what you can ask chat gpt is that i am a newcomer and i want to learn the python programming in depth so you can just ask chat, chat gpt everything for example i am a beginner and i want to learn python programming programming language so suggest the important topics and notice here the chat gpt response basics of python variables and data types input and output operators control flow statements data structures functions modules and packages file handling error and exception handling object oriented programming libraries and tools so chat gpt basically suggests all these topics in order to learn the python programming in depth next you can just copy this and you can ask chat gpt to produce the content for this particular topic for example here create a content for basics of python and just hit enter next you can ask chat gpt to create a content for other python topics as well well apart from generating the code chat gpt can also help you to write the comments in your existing code let us say you are working on real time project and if you want to add a comments to your code then just ask chat gpt to add a comments to the code so chat gpt will add a proper comments to each and every piece of code for instance let us say this piece of code over here so this is the code that finds a factorial of number using loop in a java and you want to add a comment to this code then what you can do is you can just ask chat gpt for you so here just tell chat gpt to add comments to the below java code and just paste the code over here and hit enter and look at the chat gpt response over here and you can see the comments so chat gpt basically add a comment to each line of the code so this is awesome right you don't have to write the comments you know line by line 
Just ask ChatGPT, it will do for you so that you can save your time. So ChatGPT is an amazing tool that you can use in your day-to-day -day project work. It can generate the code for you, it, it can debug the code for you and find the errors for you. It can review your code and you can use ChatGPT to learn new things. Okay, it is awesome tool, just try it out. So in this video, I am using ChatGPT pre version, but you can also upgrade to ChatGPT plus as well. So ChatGPT plus provides a few more you know, advanced features that you can use in your projects. So in upcoming videos, I also cover, you know, about ChatGPT plus as well. All right, great. I will see you in the next video.